Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make freezer-friendly whole wheat waffles. This recipe is part of my four weeks to fill your freezer series. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I've got a link in the description to my blog post. I made 20 different recipes over the course of four weeks. They are all freezer friendly and they range from breakfast, lunch, dinners, and desserts and snacks. So make sure you guys check that out. What I love about waffles is that I always have the ingredients on hand to make them, as well as pancakes and any other breakfast item. But seriously, waffles are so easy to make. We'll eat them for breakfast, we'll eat them for dinner, you can add any kind of mix-ins, chocolate chips, blueberries, strawberries, anything you can think of. So today I'm gonna to go step by step to show you how to make these waffles and how to freeze them. So let's get started. First thing we'll do is add all of the dry ingredients to a large bowl. So we'll start out with two cups of whole wheat flour. You can use all whole wheat or you can use a mixture of whole wheat or all purpose. I pretty much just use whatever I have on hand. What I love about this recipe is that I always keep all the ingredients for what, like waffles, pancakes, french toast, what have you. It is a quick way to get breakfast or dinner on the table. If you have followed me for any length of time, you know that I have some sort of breakfast on my dinner menu at least once a week. It's usually pancakes because those are Allison's favorite, but sometimes waffles make on the menu too. You can also double this recipe, you can triple it. Today I'm just going to use a single batch. Once all the dry ingredients have been added, just stir it a little bit and then you can add the wet ingredients. The biggest way I make these waffles healthier is by using applesauce instead of oil. It greatly reduces the calorie info and it also reduces the fat. You can use oil if you want. Uh, I'm using a half cup of applesauce so you can use a fourth cup of oil and a fourth cup of applesauce. You could mix it up uh, any other way you choose. I just like using applesauce because it definitely makes it a lot less calories. And because I still like to have a little bit of healthy fat in my meals, I'm going to add some peanut butter on top of my waffles. Another fun fact, if you don't have applesauce or oil, you can also use a mashed banana. I think one medium sized mashed banana would work just fine in this recipe. Once you have mixed everything together, you can add different mix-ins at this point. You could put in blueberries, you could put in cut up strawberries, Allison's requested some chocolate chips, so instead of putting it inside the entire batter, I think I'm just going to add a little bit into hers as I put it in the waffle maker. So now that this is all mixed together and ready to go, we're just waiting on the waffle iron to heat up and then it'll be ready to go. Okay, so the green light on mine means that my waffle maker is ready to go. So I will lift it up and make sure I spray it really well with cooking spray because my waffles do tend to stick. And then I use a half cup measuring cup in order to put the batter in. So I get a really good sized scoop and then when I pour it onto the griddle or on the waffle iron I try to spread it around a little bit and that will make sure that it cooks evenly and that you get a really big waffle. So now I will close it and turn mine so that's what I'm supposed to do and then in about two minutes this waffle will be ready. All right, light has turned on, so let's check it real quick. And there is a perfect waffle. So then I'm just take my spatula and we'll set it onto a plate and then we will get started with the next one. I'm gonna add a couple of chocolate chips to this one per Allison's request. So we'll see how well that works. Now one of the things that we love to serve with waffles is scrambled eggs because they are high in protein. 
The waffles do have some good protein in it due to the, the milk and the eggs and the whole wheat flour, but the eggs definitely add more protein to it. So John and I usually get two eggs each. I give Allison one egg because that's all she will eat most of the time. Other good side items could be like sausage links or sausage patties. You could have cottage cheese, which is one of my favorites. And you can have a side of fruit to go with it or even top your waffle with fruit. We like to use sliced bananas or strawberries. I even done uh, diced apples at one point. That was pretty interesting. Now that I've got my eggs done and my waffle done, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of peanut butter on top of my waffle. And then I have some pure maple syrup that I will pour on top. It's a nice, delicious, and filling dinner. When the waffles have cooled completely, I like to put mine on a cookie sheet that's lined with either parchment paper or just a cooling rack. And then you'll lay them right on top. Make sure they are not touching each other. And you can put them directly in the freezer. And once they are completely frozen, you can put them in a gallon sized freezer bag. And then when it's time to cook them, you can cook them straight from frozen and put them in the toaster oven for a couple minutes and they'll come out nice and crispy. I also have all the recipes for this four weeks to fill your freezer series in a really handy digital recipe book. It's got all 20 recipes and it has a grocery list for each week so you can easily go to the store and buy what you need. And I have a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. I've also got a coupon code down there just for you guys so make sure you take advantage of that. I'm going to be going through all the recipes in this four weeks to fill your freezer series and I'm super excited to get all these on video finally so make sure you check back every week because I'm going to have one new recipe every week for you. So make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can be notified when I post those recipes or my grocery haul.